If you've ever played Hypixel Skyblock, even a bit, you would know to progress farther and farther into the game, you have to do huge grinds. The amount of different things you can grind for is immense, and each of these have its own respective difficulty. So in this video, I will be going over some grinds that many players do, and rating them on whether you should do them, and comparing them to other different types of grinding. I'll split it into three parts, starting with grinds that will make you a decent amount of money, and then I'll go into grinds that will take away your money, but give you something else like a stat bonus or an increase in stat. And then finally, I'll go over my personal grinding and what I grind for and what I recommend you should probably grind for as well. But before the video starts, please consider subscribing if you do end up enjoying this video or you enjoy any of my other content. Also, we're only about 300 subs away from 10,000 subscribers and I can't thank you enough. So if you want to be in the under 10k gang, make sure to subscribe now. Also, I will be doing another giveaway on the channel. So to enter, just go to the Discord, no need to subscribe, just go to the Discord and go to the giveaways channel and you will be able to enter by reacting and the prize will be two summoning eyes. So now back to the video. We all knew this was coming but let's just get it over with. Obviously, grinding Zealot is one of the best things to grind for in the game as it gives you loads of money and a little bit of combat XP. So get yourself a young set and get yourself your AOTD and start grinding. The next method is Enderman farming. This method of farming has obviously died down a bit since the prices of legendary Enderman has dropped tremendously but it is still a pretty fun grind you can do, especially if you have enough people to pearl spam for you, and it's also pretty good for combat XP, so you can make some good combat XP as well as some good money by doing this grind. Personally, I wouldn't recommend doing this, as you're gonna have to have a bunch of other plays to do it for you, but if you don't have the money and you kinda want combat XP, and even more money, then I extremely advise you trying to do some pearl spamming. The last big grind you can do to get some money is probably through the use of farming. Farms like the sugarcane farm can actually produce you quite a bit of money due to the introduction of the personal compactor which makes it so you never have to wait to actually make any of your ingredients which increases how much faster you can grind and it makes it so you can grind basically infinitely just like this. So now, hopefully by grinding some of these methods and maybe a bit of bazaar or AH flipping, you should be at a pretty decent amount of money. So now, you're going to want to grind something to actually lose your money. This was going to be a given, but grinding revs. While grinding revs gives almost no money due to the low amount of drops and the low prices of the drop, it does give you loads of combat XP. And at this time of the game, where gas minions don't work, it's one of the best ways for you to get combat XP, only even rivaled by pearl spamming, which is not even that good anymore. So if you're going to want to grind for combat XP, this is your way. If you don't have that much money in the bank, you can try doing tier 3 revs as it will give you a decent amount of combat XP as well as re level up your rev level even though it's not as much. But you will gain combat XP a little slower but due to the drops you can get from the tier 3s you should make quite a bit of the money back and you can even profit which is entirely impossible on the most part with tier 4s as the only way you can profit from tier 4s are getting RNGs drops. You probably saw this coming but if you have way too much money to burn why not go and grind some dragons. There's about 3 different eye placements I have for most situations in the game so if you're a pretty end game player most of you will probably want to place 2 eyes but if you're a early game player, or not that early game, but not the best of the game, 
and can hit top down damage, you're going to want to place one, two, and three eyes. Then, if you're an extremely sweat and you want to save money, one eye can actually result in profit if you're lucky. The final thing you should be using your money to grind for is probably leveling up skills like alchemy and enchanting. It is pretty well known that the best way to level up these two skills is with loads of money. So if you do not have loads of money, it will be very hard to level up the skills of enchanting and alchemy. For leveling up alchemy, if you are a little bit poorer or don't want to waste that much money, using an auto brewer like this can actually be quite efficient in making some good alchemy XP for very very cheap, but it will still take you quite a bit of time. And for enchanting, there is no cheap way to get it without spending loads and loads of your money. If you have some extra money and you're looking to get your skill average up, I extremely recommend leveling up your alchemy and your enchanting level because it can help you get into some endgame guilds which could end up getting you more splashes which will help you progress more in Skyblock in general. So now for what I do. Whenever I'm online on Hypixel, the three things I'm probably doing are either recording videos or leveling up my skills, this being combat and fishing. With the use of some god splashing services, I can get myself hourly splashes which allows me to grind very effectively when doing this. After I get my first splash, I begin by going fishing if I do not have any money. And after that one hour of fishing, I should produce a quite a bit of coins, hopefully even more if I get something like a sea emperor or maybe if I'm lucky a shredder. I will then keep on doing fishing until I hit about 2.5 to 3ish mil coins and then I'll start doing revenants because I'm still trying to level up my combat. I will probably continue this until I have almost no more money left due to losing all my money to revs, and then the cycle will repeat. This might seem boring to you, but for me, this is actually quite fun. One of the best things about this is that these are some of the two biggest levels I need to level up. Combat, because I'm trying to get high level for dungeons so I can actually deal a lot of damage since I already have 450. And then fishing, because I want to get my skill average up, and fishing is my lowest level skill. So what I recommend you guys do is pretty similar to what I do. All you have to do is take one of the methods that I said before or another method of grinding money and then use that method and then on the second part start using a way to get rid of that money and continue this in a loop. So for example, the way I get money is fishing as I said, but say you have a low farming level. Then, go farming and get your money that way. Then, say you have a very low alchemy level. So once you get a decent amount of money, use that items or money and start getting your alchemy levels up. It levels up two skills and gets you a decent amount of money. So, this will actually be quite beneficial for you and can actually be quite rewarding. If this video did help you at all or you did enjoy any of my other videos, please consider subscribing because we're extremely close to 10,000 subscribers. So, if you want to get into the under 10k gang, make sure to sub now so you can get in because we're only about 300 subs away. Goodbye.